Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I will show you how to create a metal map in a 3D code and then save the object and uh, re-import it to render it in Octane Render. This has been a problem for some people who did not see the metal behaving normally towards light. We will use the uh, uh, little robot provided by uh, uh, 3D code in order to uh, to um, to have a model to test and first I will apply a um, metal material to it uh, as a base I will use one of the default materials provided which is the metal light let's fill the whole layer with this with the metal light As you can see, this is a nice. Uh, this is a nice uh, metal because it uh, it uh, has some uh, gritty parts in the in the darker areas of the model. Then uh, we will add some paint to our robot. This is in a, this is uh, to be done in order to to show you the difference between shiny and non-shiny parts of the model. So we'll add the. Uh, a red paint layer with the fill tool and only on some parts of the of the model so I'll just click on the parts I want to fill and as you can see it only fills part with the same color and leaves some little scratches and areas without paint I'm adding paint here too. I'm giving it a belt. Okay, let's paint the hands. And also the boots. Now we have a model ready for export. Let's see what the export process. We will export the object with textures. Here is the uh, workflow. Here is the maps we will create. We will create a color map, a glossiness map, a specular color map, and a normal map. Also, make sure you create padding you know, in order to avoid seams in the in the texture map on the model in, in um, Octane Render. And the first thing to, 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 to see is the, the workflow to use, which is Gloss Color Specular. This is the one that gives the best results as far as I could see. So let's wait until it creates the maps. It's done. Then we will import them and see what it looks like in Octane Render. I use Poser, but it should be the same with all the Octane Render uh, plugins as well as the standalone version. So the model looks very dark right now because only the um, color map has been imported. Let's look at the maps that were generated. Here you can see the color map and uh, as you uh, as you see only the red parts are very really visible the rest of it is from uh, ranges from dark gray to black all these are the reflexive part they are black in this in this process so we need to see what it gives in octane render and then reapply the specular and uh, roughness maps that were not imported by Poser. First, the specular map. It really, lo it already looks a bit more metal-like. And then the roughness map. 
There's no roughness map provided by the export, but there is a class map, which is basically the same but inverted. So as we import it, you can see that the uh, the uh, surface of the robot is really, really shiny, which is not normal because it it's used metal. So we need to invert it. The roughness map is the exact reverse of the class map. Then the, the, the last map we need to import is the normal map. Here is the, the robot with all the maps applied. It looks really satisfying and we, it, it's not very really shiny uh, right now but if we apply another environment like a daylight one you can see that it reacts to light rather naturally especially on the parts such as the hands here so here here we go you have a method in order that will enable you to import maps from 3d code into octane render quite easily and get nice metal effects i hope it was useful and see you in the next tutorial